In today's digital age, video content has become an integral part of our lives and with social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok and Instagram, the demand for high quality video content has absolutely skyrocketed and as a result, video editing has become an essential skill to have. Whether you're a content creator, a marketer or just someone who wants to create better videos for personal use, in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to up your video editing game with the help of AE Juice. AE Juice are a provider of animation tools, presets and plugins for Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. There are a huge amount of packages and bundles available on the website. And at the moment, AE Juice are offering significant discounts. To find out more, visit aejuice.com via the link in the description box below. There are overlay effects, transitions, film looks, glitch packs, typography, and so much more. In fact, too many to go through all of them in this introductory video. So I've decided to pick my top 10 and demonstrate them for you. The first one I want to demonstrate is the broken glass pack. To use this effect, go to the window, extensions, and AE juice pack manager. Click on it and the AE juice pack will appear on your screen. And this broken glass pack has five different folders containing multiple options of a broken glass effect. So let's have a look at the glass parallax options. And I'm going to select glass breaking number 16. All you need to do is click on the effect, click on import, and the effect will be downloaded directly from the AE Juice server. Now let's take a look at one of the broken text effects. Let's say we wanted to add text over that image. Let's just drag that in or select the import option. So to use the text, we click on the essential graphics panel. If you can't see the essential graphics panel, click on windows, go to workspaces and select any of the effects, essentials or panels or captions and graphics workspaces. And it should appear on the right hand side. So in the essentials graphics panel, we can change the words broken text to the words that we would like to use in our video. Okay, so that's the effect with a black background. We can go ahead and change the background in the essential graphics control panel, or if you prefer, you can take advantage of a blend mode by clicking on the effects control panel and using the blend mode drop down, let's say multiply so that we can get rid of the black in the background and overlay it on top of our own footage on the layer below. So I'll select blend mode and in this case, lighten. So that's how you overlay the typography above your footage on the timeline. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next pack that I wanna demonstrate. So to do that, I'm going to use the extensions menu, AE juice pack manager, and that will appear on screen. And then we're going to click on the products tab and we're going to open up the old film construction kit. And if you hover the mouse over the pack, it actually shows you the type of effects that are available in that pack. So I'm going to double click to access the effects and You've got a number of different categories from dust and scratches to film assets, film burns, film frames, grains, looks, and even film transitions. And we'll select maybe a film frame for this one first. So to use the film frame, you can just drag it on the timeline or click import. And if I play that, you can see the subtle motion around the edges. There's a couple of things we need to do to make this work with our footage. The first one is to go over to the effects control panel and change the blend mode from normal to darken. And that will key out the white and leave the black 
framing around the edges. But as you can see, it didn't last for the full duration of the video clip, which was underneath it. So in order to match the length of that video clip, we're gonna click on the film frame video clip and we're then gonna go into the ripple delete tools and we're gonna click on that icon and we're gonna change from ripple edit to the rate stretch tool. And then we're going to drag the end of it and drag it along till it reaches the end of the video clip on video layer one. And now we can press play and you'll see that that effect will remain for the full duration of the video clip on the timeline. So that's the old film construction kit. Let's go back to the products tab. And now we're gonna check out the NFT constructor. This has a whole range of assets that you can use to create NFTs. Let's click on that one. And as you can see, we have some backgrounds and then some NFTs that are basically rotating panels that you could use for your own artwork. So let's start with one of the backgrounds first. I'll choose to import that into the project by clicking on the import icon on the top right hand corner or dragging it onto the timeline. So that's a really cool infinite loop background. Now we can go back to the AE Juice Pack Manager and into the NFT section. And let's just choose one of these rotating NFTs to overlay on top of that. And there's our NFT graphic. Let's just click on it and let's go into the essential graphics panel. And as you can see, there's an image placeholder which allows us to place our NFT image into this animated graphic. And of course, we can change all of the characteristics of the typography. So further down in the essential graphics panel, we have all the titles, original series, future style. I'll just press play to preview the animation. And we've got our two layers, an animated background with the rotating NFT card. And I've put it on loop mode in Premiere Pro so that we can see it looping and this is the kind of effect you can get. So you can just drag and drop your own image assets onto any of these NFT templates to get your own animated NFT. Full disclaimer, this is not my unique artwork. I've just downloaded an image online which I'm using for demonstration purposes only to show you what it would look like as an NFT. Moving along to the next demonstration, we're gonna check out the YouTube bloggers pack. So I'm gonna open up AE Juice again, go into the products tab. I'll scroll down until I get to the YouTube pack, click on it. And there are so many animations here that would be useful to a YouTube content creator. So I'm just gonna quickly go through some of them. The first folder contains incredibly large array of subscribe animation options, which I think uh, are really gonna be useful for any content creator. There's some generic ones and there's also ones that allow you to insert your own logo or avatar to personally brand the YouTube subscribe call out. There's some interesting shapes further down. There's literally hundreds of these animations. But let's move along to the next one in the list going to open up the extensions AE Juice Pack Manager and this time we're going to check out the podcast visualizer pack and as you can see there are a whole range of templates with different aesthetics for all sorts of podcast styles that incorporate an animated background a music visualizer and a placeholder for the avatar of the podcaster Next, we're gonna take a look at the backgrounds pack. And this is an essential for content creators, whether you're creating YouTube videos, marketing videos, or anything for social media, 
you get access to an incredible range of backgrounds from gradients to lines, patterns, shapes, speed lines and textures that you can use as backgrounds on your videos. The next pack we're gonna look at is called Sound Effects Pro and this provides you with a huge range of sound effects from bubbles to camera shots, characters, cinematic, fireworks, glitch, keyboards, mouse clicks and more. And there's also a number of transition packages available. There's Monster Transitions, which has a huge range of colorful transitions, including circles, clocks, various rectangles, shutters, stripes, and textures. There's Seamless Transitions, which includes basic transformations, blurs, camera effects, displacement, Fade, fisheye, flares, flips, form, glitch transitions, hits, lens effects, offset, perspective, pixelate, shake, stretch, tap and cursor, target and zoom, and also warp transitions. So a huge range of transitions available in the Seamless Transitions pack. Then there's the basic titles pack, which includes box titles, brushes, call outs, descriptions, lower thirds, simple titles, and even titles dedicated to YouTube. Next, there's kinetic typography, which includes some pretty way out typography effects which are 3D oriented and really do provide some very interesting text effects that you could add to any project. And there's even a pack called Neon Titles, which provides simulated neon signs that you can drag and drop on your projects and replace the default text with your own typography to have a really cool neon sign effect. And these would be very useful for intros or outros or chapter titles. So all in all, a huge range of products available from AE Juice. I found the AE Juice Pack Manager extension very easy to use inside of Premiere Pro. The only downside is that each time you want to use one of the effects, you need to download it from the AE Juice server. And some of these can take one or two minutes to download if they're on the larger side. The other thing is that they don't tend to play seamlessly on the timeline without pre-rendering, which you can get around by going into the sequence settings and render the effect or render the whole timeline. However, that does add extra time in the process of editing your project. So it will slow you down a little bit. It would be great if they could have been more seamless and I could view them without having to pre-render. Now, I'm not sure whether that has to do with the nature of the effects and the way they're compiled or the computer that you might be using. I was just using a mid-spec MacBook Air to do all my testing, which may have been part of the issue. I can't really comment on that. But apart from that extra time required, I think that they're a great option for those of you wanting to take your video editing to the next level. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. See you on the next one, bye for now.